Hey fudgies, I hope you guys are doing awesome. Right now it is almost dinner time, yet we're all loading into the car because we need to go somewhere. Let us know in the comments down below if you can guess where we're headed. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Now if you guessed Costco, you would be correct. We definitely need some groceries. We're almost out of everything at the house. And next week we have a big surprise for the kids. We think we're going to Disneyland. Unless it's over 100 degrees and then we will not be going to Disneyland. But just in case we are, I wanna pick up things for that trip. So come along with us. Okay guys, we just made it to Costco. It doesn't look too busy, which is great. But first we gotta wake up Lily, because she fell asleep. Lily, Lily, wake up. Lily, Lily. Well, she's not waking up. Good thing we have dad with us. He can carry her. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she's still tired. Okay guys, just <laughs> so we just finished up at Walmart. Let's head on home and I'll show you everything that we picked up. We're back home now and here's what we got. Before I get started, do you want to show us your favorite item? Yeah. What did you get that was your favorite? These chocolate little muffins. Mm-hmm. And this thing. <laughs> your favorite is beef jerky? Yeah. Even though it's meat? Yeah. Oh, good. And I also like these. Mm -hmm. I picked her up some craisins. I also like those little sandwiches over there. Those little sandwiches. Yep, those are and, for a special treat. And that little bag. And she likes the prunes. Cool. Okay, guys, Lily had to go do her bedtime routine. It is way past the kids' bedtime. We ended up giving them hot dogs and salad for dinner. We ate at Costco, and then I just went into Walmart by myself. It's always easier that way. The kids stayed in the car with my husband. They watched a movie, and my husband played with the drone. So now that we're back home, I can show you everything that we picked up. We ended up going to just Costco and Walmart, and everything came to about $300, including two really cute dresses, which I will show you last. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things from Costco first, and you guys will have to pardon my nails. I did a really fun unicorn-themed lunch over the weekend, and the nails are still on. <laughs> They're pretty funny looking, but that's okay. If you guys wanna watch that video, I'll go ahead and link it above. It was really fun. Now, like I said, we're not 100% sure, but we're hoping to go to Disneyland next week. So I did pick up some things just in case we go. And then, of course, if we don't go, these things will totally get eaten just at home. No big deal. But I did pick up a big thing of water just in case we go. I'm going to go ahead and get these into the freezer um, tonight so they'll have time to freeze and they'll stay cold for us. I also picked up some almond milk for myself, some regular milk for the kids. We got a big watermelon, a chicken. I love the rotisserie chickens there. I'm probably gonna take this off the bone and make some chicken salad. We got some of this five cheese tortelloni. This is a little bit different than tortellini. They're a little bit bigger. And to go along with this, we also got our favorite basil pesto. We also stocked up on our cheese. We were completely out of cheese. So we got some string cheese, some slices of cheddar, and some slices of Havarti. I also got some hummus. Now normally I don't get the roasted garlic hummus, but this was actually $2 cheaper than the plain hummus. So I thought for $2 less we could definitely give it a try. 
For our lunch meat this week, I went with the Black Forest Ham, and I really like these thicker cut pieces um, that are the Costco brand. They're actually really good quality. We also picked up some eggs, a big thing of red grapes. I'm hoping that we can go through all of these before they go bad, we shall see. And then I wanted to try this new kind of jam. This is a wild blueberry jam, and this jar was only about $3, so hopefully the kids will like it. Back over here, I picked up two packages of our favorite snack. These are the Veggie Bites, and Costco hasn't had these for quite a while. These are really tasty, especially if you have an air fryer, and they'll be nice and crispy. They're really good. So we picked up two of these, and I'll actually put one of them in the freezer for a later date. I also picked up some Honey Nut Cheerios. Unfortunately, these are not on sale anymore, but the kids have really been liking cold cereal, and so we got some of this. We also got a big bunch of bananas, some avocados, some cuties, and as you can see, the kids actually snacked on some of these on our drive home. I got some of the Asian cashew chopped salad. We also got some steak strips. This is like a really thick beef jerky. This is perfect to take in Disneyland with us if we need a quick snack. And then I got lots of bread items that I don't get very often, starting with some croissants. These are for a special back to school breakfast video I'm working on. And then we got some muffins. These are dangerously good. That's why I don't buy them very often. But look at this one, you guys. This one has a smiley face on it. Do you see that? Two eyes and a mouth right there, how cute. I'm actually gonna put some of these in the freezer so we're not gonna eat all of these right away. We'll definitely take some of these on our trip with us as well because the hotel that we're staying at this time is not gonna have a breakfast. I also picked up three English cucumbers, a big thing of flour tortillas, a big thing of corn tortillas, and some Greek pita flatbread. I love to make pizzas out of these, they're really good. But since we're going out of town, I'll probably end up sticking this in the freezer. We also got this huge bag of plums, otherwise known as prunes. The kids actually requested these, they like them, but I'm careful not to give them too many. We also got some of these Aussie Bites. These are really good, especially if you're traveling. Perfect for a quick breakfast on the go. These have oats and apricots, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, coconut, chia seeds, they're really tasty. So that is everything from Costco. Now I'll show you what I got from Walmart. So starting over here in the front, I got several boxes of craisins. Well, these are like the Walmart version of craisins. Lily requested these, but she's the only one who really likes them. So I thought six small boxes would be better than one big bag. And then I also got some beef jerky, no, these are turkey jerky sticks. Not all of the kids like these. So I wanted to have these as an alternative. And then this I actually picked up for myself. I've never tried this before, but I've heard good things about it. This is the BP2 powdered peanut butter. And I love peanut butter, but it's not very good for you all the time. So this one has 85% less fat calories than regular peanut butter. And I'm hoping to add this into my smoothies. And just like any time we're going on a trip, I like to stock up on different kinds of yogurt, including the peach kefir. I got some Go-Gurt Simples. This is the kind that I chose for myself. This is the Chobani coconut. And then the kids really like this drinkable yogurt in the vanilla flavor. And of course, when we travel, I also like to pick up some Easy Mac. I like to keep this in the hotel room for when we get back to the room at night. A lot of times the kids are looking for a snack before bed, so it's perfect for that. And then we have our Uncrustables. We usually take these into Disneyland with us. It's a great snack and it's cheaper than buying treats at the park. I also picked up a few things for lunches, including some Teddy Grahams in the honey flavor and some of these cheddar cheese baked crackers. These are just like goldfish, but instead of a fish shape, instead of a fish, that's really hard for me to say, instead of a fish shape, these are owls. I have a special themed lunch coming up, so I needed both of these for that lunch. And then way back here, I picked up two pizzas. These Walmart brand pizzas are only like $2.75, so they're actually a really good deal. There's nothing fancy about them, but the kids like them. I got a cheese one and a pepperoni one. And then finally, I have some adorable Minnie Mouse dresses for the girls. We have one for Lily and a matching one for Mackenzie. Lily's was about $11 and Mackenzie's was $15, so the larger sizes were more expensive, but it has a little mini face with a glitter bow, and it came with this matching belt that is adorable and perfect for wearing 
to Disneyland. I love it. I just wish they had one of these in my size because I probably would have purchased it. Now, like I said, I'm not 100% sure that we'll make it to Disneyland next week, but go ahead and follow us over on Instagram because if we do, I'll definitely be posting pictures over there. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.